Bharatiya Deshni Academy was founded by none other than Mr. Nani Krupani has been to take this NGO to new heights. Wonderful people on the dais and wonderful people in the audience. But I can say one thing plus what I have done after becoming chairman of Priya Darshini that I have the largest number of ladies on the dais ever in the history of 30 years. Priya Darshini Academy relies on teamwork and a collective spirit. It's a, it's a pleasure, it's an honor, it's a, a matter of great uh, uh, pride for me to be associated. Priyadashni is a well-established NGO which promotes the growth and development of education and various other aspects of society. The Academy sets higher standards and goals with each passing year. For the last two decades, the Academy has grown enormously, adding new feathers to its cap. Over the years, the Academy has not only grown in stature, but has evolved manifold, enveloping wider global and international dimensions. The activities of the Academy are broad-based. Respected Vice President, Respected Prime Minister, Respected Speaker of Lok Sabha, Respected Sonia Gandhi Ji, Honourable Ministers, Honourable Members of Parliament, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. As a, chair, as a Chairman of the Adashni Academy, I deem it my proud privilege and honour to present to the Parliament of India the portrait of late Sri Rajiv Gandhi, the former Prime Minister of India. Parliament Function. Chairman Sri Nani Krupani had the privilege and honor of presenting a portrait of Sri Rajiv Gandhi for installation in the central wall of parliament in New Delhi. Scholarships. Priyadarshni Academy provides educational scholarships to deserving and financially needy school and college students to excel in their chosen fields. Literary Awards. From its very inception, the Academy has been committed to recognizing writers in various languages throughout the country. Vedic Research Project. The center fosters the study, research, and rediscovery, as well as presentation of the wealth of knowledge our ancestors have handed down to us. National integration through dance and music. Under this project, the Academy organizes programs featuring young and talented artists in music. My dear friend and a great social worker and I would call him a great leader. 
Mr. Nani Krupani, for this great event he has organized today. Priya Darshan Academy is at the forefront of bringing new ideas to fore. I would say Mr. Nani Krupani is a pioneer of this idea. He is the one who did not start this idea to promote his academy, but he pioneered this idea to recognize the good talent available in the society. Extend a very warm welcome to you all as uh, the chairman of the Global Awards Committee. Priyadarshini Academy has had a 30 years, three decades of glorious journey. And I'm very proud to say that for at least a decade, I've been associated with this selection of uh, the awardees. Thank you, Priyadarshini Academy for giving me this honor. Thank you so much. It's an honor uh, to be here getting this award. I'm really grateful to the foundation. Thank you so much. We have the uh, Academy uh, and all those who have uh, invested their time in it, devoted their time in it, uh, deserve to be congratulated and complimented. I, for me, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you very much. Priyadarshini Academy Global Awards. This is a unique concept which was undertaken for the first time in India by the Academy to place India on the global cultural map. We are very, very honored, sir, Mr. Kamal Nathji, Mr. Jain Patel, Mr. Suresh Prabhu. I'm really honored to receive this award. The Priya Academy Award. The Priya Academy Global Awards. Here's a peek at what makes the awards and the ceremony so special. The awards are instituted to acknowledge and honor outstanding contributions by achievers in various fields and disciplines. National and international awards are bestowed upon distinguished personalities from all over the world for their outstanding contribution in their respective disciplines. The occasion is an important occasion and indeed I'm happy to be here today. Maybe after a long time, but this particular function has impressed me a lot. Here I stand in this very room with every one of you having lives enriched by so much of experience, far more than I could ever talk home about. And yet here I stand at this very moment, blessed by this moment, to have been the recipient of such an honor. My Nane Krupani Ji ka aur unke saathiyon ka avinandan karta hoon ki gat bara saalon se is karekram ko o chala rahe hain. Jeevan ke vibhinn kshetro mein jo unvatta praapt hai unka yaha avinandan hoota hai unka award diya jata hai. Ye award aaj pradhan kiya gaya un sab ka mai avinandan karta hoon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special award to a very special person and I would now request Sri Prana Mukherjee to kindly say a few words in response. I express my gratitude to Priyodarshini Academy. She is a member of the House of Representatives, Warren and Nita Parliamentary Commission of Indonesia. Thank you very much. And at the same, of course, I'm very honored and very happy to have this award. But Infrastructural development now goes to Sri Nitin Gadkari. To receiving this prestigious award by Priya Nation Academy, there was a dream in my mind that we can make India of the international standard. And when uh, Nani Krupani and myself we were there in Japan, there were a lot of express highways there. At that time, we decided to construct this express highway, and it's really, it's really a great honor for me. Um, it's a great honor for me to be here today to receive this global award for the betterment of world environment. मैं समझता हूँ कि नानी कुरुपानी जी ने यह जो आयोजन किया है पिछले 18 साल से मैं तो एक बात पहले आया हूँ ये सच मुझ अद्भुत है जितनी प्रशंसा उनकी की जाए वो कम है और इसका प्रबंध तो यहाँ के 
महाराष्ट्र की सरकार को करना होगा या मुंबई की कॉरपोरेशन को करना होगा या यहाँ के धनाढ़ लोगों को करना होगा कि यहाँ मुंबई के शहर में एक बड़ा ऑडिटोरियम हो कि जहाँ पर जितने लोग वो चाहते हैं उतने लोग आ सके आज जो स्थिति है उसमें तो इनको ओबरॉय टॉवर्स में ही ये सबसे बड़ा मिला है मैं बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूँ उनको और इस प्रकार के कार्यक्रम का बहुत उपयोग है सब दृष्टि से इस आज के अवसर पर जिन जिन लोगों को सम्मानित किया गया है वे सब के सब अचीवर्स हैं वे सब के सब ऐसे लोग हैं जिन्होंने अपने अपने क्षेत्र में उपलब्धि की है और अपने अपने देश का ही नहीं लेकिन अपने अपने क्षेत्र की शान बढ़ाई है उन सबको बहुत बहुत बधाई बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं फॉर आउटस्टैंडिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन in which we would like to recognize the services of the stalwart from the sector of information and technology none other than the first gentleman of this field mr n r narayan murthy i like to take this opportunity to sincerely congratulate the chairman ripani and all his collaborators every year i request nanak bhai to spare me from making a speech and to spare you all from hearing it for outstanding contribution to banking and financial services which goes to none other than our own mr deepak parik chairman hdfc limited india honored and humbled to be presented this award by the academy At the age of 96 his spirit is young ever fresh and radiant as he carries the message of spirituality love peace and humanity around the globe do your duty do your duty sincerely honestly earnestly faithfully and the portals of perfection will be open unto you and to you been a wonderful ceremony one of the most looked after event not just by us but by people all over the world and literally this time the world was here miss world was there also but thank you thank you all of you for being with us in this program i'm saying us because i believe myself to be as much a part of priyadarshini darshini academy as associated with nani krupani and particularly with this priyadarshan academy in its initial stages but today when i witness this kind of a function i must compliment mr nani krupani for your sincere efforts and taking everybody with you that is your speciality upasthit bhai aur behno चौंतीस साल से वीर दर्शन एकेडमी की ओर से हमारे देश के और समाज में जो टैलेंटेड लोग हैं इनका गौरव किया जाता है मैं भी उनमें से एक हूँ कि मुझे शायद 2001 या 2002 में प्रिय दर्शनी अवार्ड मिला था और वो मैं याद रखता हूँ बिहाइंड 34 फोर ईयर्स ऑफ प्रिय दर्शनी अकेडमी but he suddenly has been a true friend philosopher guide and mentor to many of us in this room including me so i think a big round of applause for nanik bhai audio audio khatte rani kore neem ke pakore chakki na chore ghume aaye bahe kuch din mein kaise chhat se firte hum mere vargi aur na hone ve vargi aur na hone ve vargi aur na hone
I don't know how to thank Mr. Rupani because he is like a one man army, always fighting for good causes. Priya Dashan Academy organized this event, that's only one in a year, on the same day, 19 September, whatever happens the same day. But he does so many programs throughout the year in which the deprived section of society are taken care of. He goes and literally begs for these people. He goes and appeals to so many good philanthropists to support such good causes for doing a good work. I wish to congratulate all the winners. I only wish them and hope that you will now do even more work in your respective fields because you have now been recognized by a very prestigious organization like Piyadashin Academy. Government of India has also benefited from it because we can recognize such good work which otherwise would have probably go unnoticed. Good evening everyone, I'm Reena Rupani and on behalf of Priyadarshini Academy, I'd like to welcome you all to our 38th anniversary Global Awards presentation ceremony. I'd like to welcome our chief guests for this evening, Honorable Minister Mr. Nitin Gadkari ji, our guests of honor, uh, honorable member of parliament, Mr. Suresh Prabhu, and honorable speaker, Mr. Rahul Narvekar. Mr. Piyush Goyal is currently traveling outside the country and is unable to connect with us at the moment. Uh, I'd also like to welcome all our brilliant award winners who have joined us, Her Excellency Patricia. Patricia Espinosa, Dr. Sanjeev Goenka, Mr. Kavalji Java, Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan, Shraddhaya Shailbala Pandya, Mr. Dario Vardhain, and Ms. Alia Bhatt. We truly appreciate all of you joining us in spite of your busy schedules and the time zone differences. Uh, Ambassador Espinosa, I know, I believe you're joining us from New York and it's 8.30 a.m. there. And Mr. Wadain, I believe it is 9.30 a.m. in Argentina. Um, and Mr. Khan is joining us from Dhaka and it's 6.30 p.m. over there. So this is truly a global event. Thank you all for being with us. From Priyadarshini Academy, we have with us our very own super achievers, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, Mr. Nani Krupani, and Dr. R. A. Mashelkar. I'd also like to welcome our audience watching us live. Thank you all for joining us this evening from wherever you are. Who would have thought that in the 21st century, we'd be grappling with a pandemic climate change, a war, global stagflation, and a worsening mental health crisis. With constant bombardment of bad news, it is easy to lose sight of the greater good, believing that all is lost and humanity is doomed. But if we take a pause, we see that though far from perfect, we are as advanced as we have ever been. Fewer babies are dying, more children are going to school. More households have access to electricity and primary health care. And people are living longer with better quality lives. And we have champions amongst us to thank for it. Those stars who held steadfast to their commitment towards making this world a better place than they found it. Heroes who worked fearlessly and tirelessly to ensure that humanity keeps moving forward. In today's award ceremony, we are privileged to recognize some of these remarkable achievers for their outstanding contribution. But before we get to that, allow me to give you a brief introduction of Priyadarshini Academy. Founded in 1984 with the motto, Service to Humanity is the Best Work of Life, Priyadarshini Academy is one of the most impactful NGOs in India. 
a foremost non-profit, cultural and educational organization. The Academy has surpassed its goals and won many hearts with its remarkable achievements year after year. Priyadarshini provides educational assistance to deserving and needy students, promotes Indian classical performing arts, presents literary awards in regional languages, and publishes books to spread ancient Indian wisdom. Over the years, the Academy has conducted a host of additional activities which have been of tremendous benefit to society, including anti-dowry campaigns, anti-drug drives, disaster relief, environment preservation, health and wellness programs, and various other initiatives. A highlight of the organization, the Priyadarshini Academy Global Awards, are considered by many as Asia's Nobel Prize. The awards are a tribute to the recipients from all walks of life, all corners of the globe, recognizing their extraordinary achievements while inspiring leaders of current and future generations. Priyadarshini Academy is truly fortunate to have the highly charismatic and debonair business tycoon, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, as its chairman. An institution by himself, he is a powerhouse of unlimited vitality. Most people know him as a real estate magnate, but few know that he wears several other hats. Education, industrial parks, data centers, infrastructure, hospitality and healthcare are some of his many other endeavors. With his profound knowledge and sharp business acumen, he has held leadership positions across prominent organizations, government bodies and apex chambers. Constantly challenging his own limits and exploring new frontiers, he dares to blaze the trail where none exist and always comes out a winner. Dr. Hiranandani, may I request you to give the welcome address on the occasion of our 38th anniversary? Uh, a very, very wonderful afternoon to each and every one of you who is here in India. And as uh, Rina Rupani has just mentioned, it is a wonderful time to say good morning to those in Mexico, in New York, and uh, of course in Europe and uh, in the Far East, very good evening. This is really a truly uh, international award ceremony. We would have loved to have it in the physical form and we do hope that from the next award part, we shall have it back again to be in a physical contribution. Realization Academy has been led by Mr. Nani Krupani in the last 37 years and has done an wonderful job. It is really, really very heartening that uh, we have him here as Chairman uh, Emeritus, but still continues to be acting, working, and doing so many manifold activities on behalf of this social institution. Today, I have to say a special thing about Dr. Mashalka. Dr. Mashalka is a man of innovation, of scientific research, of various bodies to the government of India and also leading the Priyadashini Academy in choosing all the awardees. And you can see the manifold direction in which he has led. Dr. Mashalka, it's always wonderful that you have been part of us and continue to do so. What can I say about Mr. Gadkari? Honorable Mr. Gadkari is not only a minister. He's an institution by himself. He threatens me by saying that he is a better businessman than all we businessmen are. He talks about converting waste into wealth. He initiated the Mumbai Pune Road, for which Priya Darshini gave him an award. But today, that 169 kilometers of construction of Pune looks like pretty cash to him because now he does 35 kilometers of national highway per day. Sir, thank you very much for being here with us today. We recognize, salute, and we are very, very happy that you always continue to join us in the academy and also guide us in various matters in this country. I'm sure that this prime minister 
will reach his $5 trillion economy very soon. Many fold because of the work that you have put in in the central government. Mr. Rahul Narvekar, speaker, youngest speaker in the assembly, welcome to have you here. Mr. Suresh Prabhu, you are a part and parcel of Priyadarshini Academy for so many years. But for you, we would not be where we are today. So thank, thank you very much. I don't want to say more about you because you are a part of the family that we are now here today. We have wonderful awardees which are there. Coming from Mexico, Patricia Cantelano, His Excellency. Sir, you have done a fantastic job of sustainable development for which you are awarded today. Sanjeev Goenka, a personal friend of mine, and the wonderful work that he has done in creating leapfrog in trade and industry. Mr. Kanwalji Java, wonderful contribution here in India for the work that he has done in making, again, sustainable development, but in the part of business. We have a wonderful person from Bangladesh, Ahmad Aziz Khan, who has been the chairman of Sumit Group and has done great work in infrastructure. So we salute all the good work that you have been doing. Our very own wonderful Shrade Pandya, the trustee of Gayati Trust, what can I say? You are the well-deserved awardee for the Pralad P. Chabria Memorial, outstanding work for women's empowerment and spirituality, a well-deserved award, and we look forward to you receiving this award. Mr. Dario Martin, Rio Corporation, receiving the very own Harish Mahindra Award for economic growth that is taking birth. And of course, the most beautiful, Alia Bhatt, getting the Smita Patil Memorial Award. All these awardees individually stand out in their field of activity. And we are happy that they have consented to take the award from us. I am sure with this recognition, and this has happened to all the awardees, that they have always leapfrogged to the next level or in their lives. And this is the same as I can say for our very own awardee of Mr. Nitin Gadkari, whom we thought when we gave him the award that he had, worked, he had already reached Mount Everest. But then we found that it was actually the small beginning that he did. I wish each and every awardee the great success that we are. Priyadarshini Academy works hard in order the field of education and giving of scholarships to the poor and needy on various activities which are already shown to you. We look forward to many people joining this association in order to take it to the next level. Thank you very much, each and every one of you, for the participation and all the institution of Priyadarshini Academy who have made this institution a great success. Thank you very much and the very best to each and every one of you all around the globe. Thank you so much, Dr. Hidanandani, for that wonderful welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our next speaker for today. What Google is to web searching and Xerox is to photocopying, the name Nani Krupani is to Priyadarshini Academy. To summarize it in one word, synonymous. You can't mention one without thinking of the other. Founder and Chairman Emeritus, he has nurtured the Academy with immense passion since its inception. Businessman and humanitarian, he has dedicated the better part of his life to social causes and is the heart and soul of the Academy. A highly multifaceted individual, he is a trustee of Leelavati Hospital, the principal advisor to MIT Group of Institutions, past president of several chambers of commerce, and serves on the boards of various business, social, and educational organizations. He believes success is everyone's birthright, and the best way to succeed is by helping others. Priyadarshini is his legacy of love and service to humanity, which will prevail for generations to come. 
Mr. Manik Rupani, may I request you to say a few words on this special occasion? Thank you, Rina. Thank you very much. Uh, our chief guest, Sri Nitin Gadkari, my friend Suresh Prabhu, Sri Rahul Narayanakar, Dr. Mashel Kar, Dr. Niranjan Hiranandani, our distinguished award winners, uh, His Excellency Patricia, Dr. Sanjeev Goenka, Mr. Kanwal Jeet Java, Mr. Mohammed Aziz Khan, Shardaya Shelba Bala Pandya, Mr. Dario Vartian, and Ms. Alia Bhatt, film actor, uh, members of Priyadashni Academy, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as a chairman emeritus of Priyadashni Academy, which has stood in service of humanity for nearly four decades. I am proud to be here before these illustrious dignitaries to celebrate our 38th anniversary. I would like to share with you why a global award platform is highly relevant today. We are all aware that the world is becoming an increasing smaller place with breakneck technology connecting to us 24 by 7. Today, more than ever, we need leaders who have global vision and are sensitive to curve balls like pandemic, the cyber economy, climate change, and war. They have to make decisions which take into account tightly interlinked economic environment. Everything is dynamic. Today, thought leaders, innovators, and social entrepreneurs are winners because they are flexible, quick to read the pulse, quick to innovate and grow. As you will see, each of our carefully selected global awardees this year is a thought leader for its thought that lead to action and action lead to change. Diversity is also a key word of our time and you will see outstanding individuals from diverse cultures and different nations this year. From India and Bangladesh to Latin America to truly global citizens, we will meet all these extraordinary men and women in course of our awards ceremony today. I am super excited as I hope you all are too. The virtual platform has one massive advantage. It allows many more viewers to share in our 38th anniversary from abroad, around the world. I extend a very warm welcome to all our viewers who are watching us during this live telecast, what has been called the Nobel Awards of Asia. I would like to take this opportunity to thank tremendously my close friend and my friend, philosopher and guide, Sri Nitin Gadkari. I think he has really helped me so much. Without him, this academy would not have been, uh, uh, the success, whatever we received would not have been possible. And I also want to thank our chairman of International Awards Committee, Dr. Mashal Kar. I think he has never, never said no to me. Whenever I have asked him for his time, he has been very kind. Uh, Mr. Suresh Prabhu is a pillar of our academy and despite his many commitments as a fine Indian parliamentarian and statesman, he has always helped us to convert challenges into victories and has stood by the academy like a rock for more than three decades. I also like to uh, welcome our dynamic young uh, speaker of Maharashtra, uh, uh, Shri Rahul Narvekar, his decision to open a WhatsApp group for members of his constituency to freely discuss civic issues shows a willingness to be a true people's representative. Dr. Mashakar has been heading our international committee, as I told you, and every year he tries to really bring many, many celebrities of the world with, with us. Lastly, I would like to thank Niranjan Hiranandani. I'm sure he has taken this academy to the next level. And in times to come, I think he will devote a little more time and next year, I'm sure he will organize this function physical, which he has said, because I think it has become very, very difficult to coordinate with so many dignities from all over the world. Let me begin by saying how honored and humbled I am to be in presence of extraordinary accomplished award winners. Their towering personalities, game-changing victories, and utmost devotion to service, serving these community, their communities Employees, employees and citizens of their countries are truly commendable. And of course, I would like to mention my gratitude to all our committee members and especially to my daughter, Reena Rupani, because I think 
90 percent of the load she has taken from me for the coordination and organizing this function i once again extend a very warm welcome to all of you viewers awardees and collaborators and once again my million million thanks to nitin gadkari i think without him i don't think i would be having the courage to organize this function and i'm also very happy that rahul narvekar also is with us today and i'm sure he will also join us uh, he will be our permanent guest when and never we have thank you very much thank you so much mr rupani ladies and gentlemen let's move on to our next speaker for today an influential thought leader and the former director general of csir dr r a mashelkar is one of india's greatest scientific geniuses he serves on several high powered government committees prestigious academic and scientific bodies and the boards of leading companies a highly accomplished scientist he has 28 patents 26 books and nearly 300 research publications to his credit a record 45 honorary doctorates have been conferred on him by universities around the world his outstanding achievements have been recognized by a multitude of national and international awards including three of india's highest civilian awards padma shri padma bhushan and padma vibhushan he is a fellow of the royal society the topmost honor reserved for the world's path breaking scientists coming from humble beginnings dr mashelkar has achieved more in one lifetime than most others can only dare to dream dr mashelkar it's an honor to have you as the chairman of our global award committee may i request you to say a few words thank you thank you very much most revered most beloved shri nitin gadkari ji my dear friend shri suresh prabhu ji shri rahul narvekar ji dr niranjan hiranandan ji uh, one and only mr nani rupani ji uh, reema uh, distinguished uh, winners of the 30th uh, uh, priyadarshini global awards Uh, distinguished invitees ladies and gentlemen i want to extend on my own behalf a very warm welcome to you all this is a very special evening evening of celebration celebration of the life and work of exemplars who are inspiring torch bearers of ultimate in excellence towering achievements and impactful social and business transformations I want to thank the winners for accepting our honor. In all humility, I can say that by accepting these coveted awards, you have honored these awards and helped raise the prestige of these awards. I want to specially thank Nanik ji for three things. First, for setting up this great Priyadarshini Academy with the motto of service to humanity is the best work of life. And sir, you are. Lived this in later and spirit all your life. You are so so special. Second, for creating the global awards, this is the 30th anniversary of the awards, which has set up such high benchmarks. Third, on a personal front, for doing the honor of chairing the jury of the awards since 2007, almost for 15 years. This is the greatest honor that I have received in my life. I am truly grateful to you. The diversity. of award is today in terms of not only the geography that is from india to argentina to mexico to bangladesh but also the diversity of their work the fields of their endeavors they really cover uh, such vast arena that is mind boggling but there is something common in them all of them are trend setters all of them are transformation leaders all of them have shown a great purpose perseverance and passion all of them have shown empathy and compassion and the highest humanitarian values so we have among our these someone who has uh, fought for moral spiritual regeneration 
and women's empowerment. Someone who has driven global efforts towards a sustainable and resilient future with values of multilateralism and gender equality. We have business leaders who have not only achieved exponential growth, but inclusive growth, uh, business practices that sustain biodiversity and social action. It is doing well and doing good, doing well by doing good. We also have a highly talented uh, and a multifaceted uh, uh, young actor. So we congratulate all of them. We salute all of them. We thank all of them for not only what they are, but what they have done, not just for themselves, but for the society and for the humanity at large. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Mishelkar. Uh, I love the 10 life messages that you shared. Uh, it's something that we can all learn from and combine in our lives. That's one that we ended the video with. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the presentation of the award. We have a dazzling galaxy of super achievers with us this evening. It is very easy for me to spend hours talking about each one's achievements. However, the most challenging assignment given to me for this award ceremony is to summarize the introductions in only 90 seconds each in the interest of time. It doesn't do them full justice, but then again, they are all institutions by themselves and don't need very detailed in introductions. So let's get started with our first award winner for today. With over 35 years of experience at the highest levels in diplomacy, multilateral negotiations and international relations, Ambassador Patricia Espinosa is an exemplary world leader driving global efforts towards a sustainable and resilient future. A dynamic advocate for human rights and gender equality, she has award-winning expertise in sustainability, green growth, multilateralism, and environmental stewardship. As Executive Secretary of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change from 2016 to 2022, she led the organization towards supporting the implementation of the Paris Agreement globally. She is spearheading the fight against climate change in many multilateral bodies and international organizations. As president of COP16 in 2010, she was instrumental in the adoption of the Cancun Agreements. As Mexico's Minister of Foreign Affairs, she organized the first ever G20 summit in an emerging economy. As president of the third committee of the UNGA in 1996, she played a crucial role in the adoption of the Beijing Platform for Action at the fourth World Conference on Women. In recognition of her outstanding contribution to sustainable development, we are honored to present the Priyadarshni Academy Global Award to Her Excellency Patricia Espinosa Cantillano. Mr. Nitin Gadkariji, may I request you to do us the honor and join us on our virtual stage to present this award to Her Excellency Patricia Espinosa. We can have the certificate and trophy sent to you, or we may hold on to it for a little while if you're planning to visit Mumbai anytime soon so that we can present it to you in person. May I request you to share your thoughts with us on this special occasion? You're on mute, uh, Ambassador. You're on mute. Uh, yeah, Ambassador, you're on mute. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, now, yes? Can you hear me? Yes, okay. We can, thank yeah. You. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Rina. 
um, it's um, really moving also the presentation that you have just uh, um, uh, made uh, of myself. Um, uh, I feel so humbled and, and honored. Um, Dr. Hiranandani, uh, Minister, Mr. Rupani, Dr. Marshall Carr, distinguished guest of honor, fellow award recipients, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much. I am deeply moved by Frida Darshni's Academy decision to bestow upon me this prestigious award. Let me say quite honestly that I was surprised to learn that I was being considered a potential recipient of this accolade. My surprise turned into astonishment when I received the news that I would join the ranks of the distinguished men and women who have received this award over the years. It is an extraordinary honor for me, for, me, for which I am truly grateful. This dis distinction has a very special significance for me. First, because it comes from an outstanding organization whose altruistic motto service to humanity is the best work of life, could be embraced with equal conviction by those who, like myself, have had the privilege of serving at the United Nations. But there is a second motive that makes me feel particularly grateful, and it is the fact that the award comes from an Indian institution. During nearly 40 years of an inter uninterrupted diplomatic career, first as a member of Me Mexico's Foreign Service and later as a UN civil servant, I have often met officials and diplomats from this great country. Some of them honor us with their presence today. And I have been invariably impressed by their personal and professional qualities. This has been especially true in my engagement with Indian representatives in the climate change process. I need hardly remind anyone here about the critical role that India is called upon to play in our collective efforts against climate change. Allow me to highlight just three attributes that point to this. In a matter of months, India is projected to surpass, surpass China as the world's most populous country. This year, India overtook the UK to become the fifth largest economy. And it is poised to become the third largest by the end of this decade, only eight years from now. Admittedly, India faces many challenges but it is clearly consolidating its role as a major player on the world stage. And this entails greater responsibility in every area and most importantly, in our efforts to address climate change. So it fills me with enthusiasm and hope that there is such awareness of this global emergency and such commitment to climate action. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I came to realize long time ago that the ultimate purpose of conferring an award is not so much to honor the individual who receives it, as it is to highlight the importance of the cause that he or she may be working for and to encourage others to join in their efforts. I would like to accept this award then in a spirit of humility on behalf of all those who have accompanied me, accompanied me over the years and who continue working in the arduous and often thankless task of combating climate change, which is another way of saying of building a better future for all. My deepest gratitude to the Priya Darshni Academy and congratulations to all the distinguished recipients of this award. I am deeply honored to find myself among you. Thank you very much. Over to you, Rina. Thank you, Ambassador Espinosa.
the planet needs more people like you to raise the awareness that climate change knows no boundaries and we're all going to pay the price really if we don't do something about it and as you said it's a thankless task hats off to you thank you so much for being with us this evening ladies and gentlemen let's move on to our next award winner an icon in the global business community Dr Sanjeev Goenka is the illustrious chairman of the 7 billion dollar strong RP Sanjeev Goenka group one of India's fastest growing multinational conglomerates with a presence in over 35 countries he has brilliantly spearheaded the group's diversification into multiple sectors ranging from power IT and retail to media entertainment and sports The group's PPO for so solutions is one of the largest employers from India in the US and the UK. Dr. Goenka revolutionized music by wrapping nostalgia in a box with the super popular Saregama Karwa and digitizing the entire copyrighted song collection, a whopping 50% of all Indian music ever recorded. An avid sports enthusiast, he owns the iconic Mohan Bagan Football Club and the Lucknow Super Giants IPL cricket team. The youngest ever president of CII, chairman of the prestigious IIT Kharagpur for a record three terms, winner of several awards and honors, this one-man titan has been ranked among the top 25 most powerful Indians for seven years in a row. In recognition of his outstanding contribution to trade, commerce and industry, we are honored to present the Priyadarshini Academy Ramkrishna Bajaj Memorial Global Award to Dr. Sanjeev Goenka. Mr. Suresh Prabhu, may I request you to do us the honor and present this award to Dr. Sanjeev Goenka? Congratulations, Dr. Goenka. May I request you to say a few words, please? Thank you, uh, Mrs. Rupani, Mr. Rupani, Mr. Prabhu, Dr. Meshelkar, Mr. Hiranandani. I'm humbled. I'm honored. I'm overwhelmed. It's a deep, deep sense of gratitude with which I humbly accept this award. I do not know what I've done to deserve it, but I'm delighted nevertheless. India enters a brilliant phase under the visionary Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi. And this is the time where the world is looking at India and it's time to invest in india it's time to invest in innovation it's time to invest in research and development it's time to grow it's time to take the india flag high and take it forward once again thank you so much for this great honor that you have bestowed upon me and my organization thank you Thank you so much Dr Goenka we know that India has a tremendously bright future with business leaders like you leading the way thank you so much for being with us and we wish you all the very best in all your future endeavors ladies and gentlemen moving on to our next award winner chairman and managing director of Daikin India Mr Kavalji Chawla created history by being the first Indian ever to be inducted on the board of Daikin Japan in these turbulent times of climate change and heat waves the story of the air conditioning industry is helping us beat the heat and stay cool with highly energy efficient acs driven by his relentless pursuit of excellence 
He has spectacularly steered Daikin through volatile economic environments in Asia, Africa, and South America, all while making it the number one HVAC brand in India. Committed to the government's Make in India and Skill India initiatives, this man with the Midas touch has set up three manufacturing facilities, three R&D centers, and several skill development centers across the country. Winner of many awards, including the 2021 Times Icon of the Year and the Daikin CEO of the Year Award on multiple occasions, Mr. Java has changed the face of enterprise in India. Today, Daikin, under his leadership, is heralding other Japanese organizations to follow its lead. In recognition of his outstanding contribution to international business development, we are honored to present the Priyadarshni Academy Global Award to Mr. Kaval Jeet Java. Mr. Nitin Katkari ji, may I request you once again to do us the honor and present this very special award to Mr. Kaval Jeet Java. Congratulations, Mr. Java. May I request you to say a few words on this special occasion? Namaskar. Thank you, Mrs. Rupani. I'm truly honored and humbled to have been considered for this extremely prestigious award. I'd like to thank most revered and respected individuals in political sphere and public life for gracing and supporting this event today. It's my good fortune that I'm able to accept this award from Chief Guest Sri Nitin Gadkariji, again Guest of Honor Suresh Prabhuji, Sri Rahul Navrekarji. At this moment, I'm filled with great enthusiasm and encouragement. I can't praise enough for the work done by Priyadarshini Academy in the field of social environment, education, cultural enhancement of Indian wisdom and recognition of the literally talents. It's indeed honor in itself to be under consideration and that too by such stalwarts in the field of science and technology, Dr. Mashlekar and industry doyen, Dr. Hiranandani ji and Nanik Rupani ji, whose accomplishment and contribution to India are limitless. I wish to convey my best wishes to Nanak Rupani ji for establishing the great institution. You know, I can't express how fortunate I feel to have been selected by the academy. Today I can say it with a little more confidence and humility that 40 years of my life in the Indian heating, ventilation, air conditioning sector has borne fruit and helped the industry expand its wings and improve the standard of people working within it. I humbly accept this award while I congratulate others who are being awarded today and have been awarded in the past. The legacy of this institution and pedigree of this award is so powerful that it can only push an individual to perform and contribute for better society to reach a utopian goal. This award would not have been possible without my mentors, colleagues, and of course, my family, especially my wife. If, as I accept this award, I must say a few things about our great nation and what lies ahead in the few decades. It's absolutely clear that India and the Indian market are going to be the fulcrum growth. Historians will hold us responsible if we do not grab this opportunity from the scalp of the neck and make it ours. India has the skill, as our Prime Minister says, India has scale 
and sustainability to the be the global growth engines. We are fortunate to be supported by domestic consumption coupled with the opportunity to be an export hub for the world. The government on its part is trying the best to create a level playing field for the investors to come and invest and be part of this economic miracle. Skill development and women empowerment is the crucial for growth of the country and I'm proud that today my company and the industry in general is collectively employing more women in the mainstream workforce. In this skill enhancement mission, the contribution of direction offered by prestigious institute such as Pradarshini Academy is the most critical and important. India will be the world's future talent factory as it will have 20% of the globe's working population by 2047. It will not only be India decades, but India century with all key elements in a place and large working population, global supply chain, risk distribution and digital compatibility to achieve something special, not just for the Indian economy, but potentially for the world. Great work is being done by Pradarshini Academy to nurture and nourish the dreams of the downtrodden who wish to dream. I wish to thank the Academy once again, most humbly submitting my deepest gratitude for being nominated for the award. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you so much, Mr. Java. Our best wishes to you as you steer Daikin to new highs on the road to prosperity. And I was very delighted to hear that you have so many women employed in the workforce. More power to you and to your company. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed, I'd like to take a moment to mention that the Academy is able to do the great work that it does because of the support of some wonderful people. I'd be failing in my duty if I don't mention their names. Mr. Nichal Israni, Mrs. Meenal and Mr. Neeraj Bajaj, Mrs. Nayantara and Mr. Pawan Kumar Jain, Ms. Poonam Zaveri, Dr. B. S. Singhal, Mr. Deepak Chhabria, Mr. Nadir Godrej, Mr. Valla Bansali, Mr. Mahendra Sanghi, Mr. Rahul Karad, and Mr. Prabodh Thakkar. I'd also like to convey our sincere appreciation to Mr. Hoshang Gotla, Ms. Sonu Rupani, Dr. Hemlata Bagla, Ms. Sangeeta Vadwani, and Mr. Josh Popat for their valuable assistance in making today's event possible. Thank you all so very much. Let's continue with our award ceremony, moving on to our next award. Our next award winner is an electrifying personality, literally. Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan is the founder and chairman of the Summit Group of Companies, the largest infrastructure conglomerate in Bangladesh. Under his exemplary leadership, the Summit Group is powering the country with thriving operations in energy, ports, logistics, IT and hospitality, all while creating several thousands of jobs. Today, Bangladesh has achieved 100% electrification and his company produces a whopping 20% of the power generated by the private sector. Setting up the nation's first independent power plant, managing ports that handle 25% of the export's volume, laying 50,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable to cover 70% of the country. These are just some of the many summits that the Summit Group has conquered, led by Mr. Khan's vision, passion and commitment to nation building. Driven by the philosophy that CSR is our personal responsibility, the phenomenally successful Mr. Khan supports several worthwhile causes, ranging from education and healthcare to music and sports. In recognition of his outstanding contribution to Bangladesh's infrastructure, we are honored to present the Priyadarshni Academy Global Award to Mr. Muhammad Aziz <coughs> Khan. Um, Mr. Suresh Prabhu, are you with us? I think your video is off, sir. I can't see you. Yes, I can now. 
Uh, Mr. Prabhu, may I request you to do us the honor and present this award to Mr. Mohammad Aziz Khan? Yes, congratulations, Ms. Khan. We love having good neighbors like you. We have people tuned in from all around the world to hear from you. May I request you to address them, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. A very good evening from Bangladesh. Uh, I'm truly, truly honored and equally overwhelmed as well as humbled by the Priya Darshini Award. Moreover, the works of Priya Darshini Academy has been an eye opener and, and a huge encourager for me to think how to serve the humanity and community in the right form. So thank you very much for all the founders and all the people working at the Priya Darshan uh, Academy. I'm equally honored that uh, such eminent politicians and public personalities who have served India so well that India has become the fifth largest economy and so on and so forth. Uh, that Honorable Sri Nitin Gadkar, Honorable Minister for Roads, Transport and Highways of India. Of course, Honorable Suresh Prabhu, founding chairman of Rishiwood University and former Minister of India, Sri Rahul Arvekar, Honorable Speaker of Maharashtra Legislative Assembly. And of course, other luminaries that are there around. It's really very, th thank you very much. I'm truly, truly grateful and honored to be receiving this award. I don't know how I deserve it because it's a global award and there are so many very, very good persons and personalities and businessmen, even in India, who has done infrastructure and I actually follow them. Uh, I try to follow those great personalities. Needless to say, say, when I was in the university, I first understood that a country would have to have both social and physical infrastructure for its development. The need for it is so immense. And uh, for social infrastructure, of course, education and health, it seemed to me at that time that it's more government's duty and perhaps NGOs like Priya Darshani Academy, as well as uh, multilateral agencies and so on and so forth, who are providing and continue to provide along with CSR of many other companies for social infrastructure. So I move on to see how what can we do about physical infrastructure. The biggest shortage was in electricity and I know for sure that the whole development of a country in this modern world, civilized world is dependent on electricity. So today we generate uh, as you have already mentioned about the first power company, independent power, private sector power company that we did. Today we generate about 2,500 megawatts of electricity and Bangladesh has achieved almost 100% electricity. And many of it is also through cross border in which we play a big role and hoping to play a bigger role with India and Bangladesh. Then of course, ports. Ports are key to a country's imports and exports. It's a connection connectivity with the whole world. It's a connectivity with the civilization. So we have uh, taken, built the first private sector port and logistic company, Summit Alliance Ports Limited, which fortunately also received two concessions from India's Inland Waterways Authority of India uh, in Kolkata and Patna. And we are trying to build that bridge that uh, perhaps Mr. Suresh Prabhu had started during his ministry of connecting all the both the countries uh, or the subcontinent through the rivers and therefore enable further and further the businesses of imports and exports and supporting each other's growth. Last but not the least, our businesses of telecommunication, we lay fiber optics. I saw it, I mean, it happened in during my lifetime that this huge explosion of internet and people's thoughts traveling at the speed of light 
of 186,000 miles per second and the whole world becoming a global village. And uh, now we are talking and through this internet, we are connected with such great honorable people and receiving such great awards while we are sitting across the world. This has been possible by internet and uh, we are very pleased that through our summit communication, we could lay 60% of the country's fiber optics uh, and towers. And uh, again, the connectivity with India has been a great source of enabling this, uh, th this thing through Airtel and Tata uh, Telecom, Tata Communications, as well as our going through Mumbai and Chennai, as well as our own fiber optics going through Cox Bazaar. So really we have now connected almost the whole of Bangladesh, at least with 2G and 3G. Uh, we're trying to move into Dhaka and Chittagong with 5G. And, and, and uh, we are really honored that we could do this service to this nation. Uh, finally, th thank you very much, Priyadarshini, because this enthuses and encourages me to even more make this connectivity, this reliance and this goodness with different countries, including India, who is our largest neighbor and, uh, and, and, and we're looking forward to a subcontinental grid to the power ports that would work for everybody, both the countries, as well as communication. So thank you. I, I'm most encouraged and look forward to being able to do all these things. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Khan. Heartiest congratulations once again on receiving the award and on achieving 100% electrification in Bangladesh. May you conquer many more summits in the time to come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to our next award winner for today. Affectionately revered as Gigi by her devotees, Shraddhaya Shailbala Pandya is at the apex of humanity's transformation. An embodiment of love, Gigi heads the old world Gayatri Parivar and is the managing trustee of Sri Ved Mata Gayatri Trust. Its Dev Sanskriti University aspires to mold the young generation into messengers of peace and harmony. As the head of Shanti Kunj Ashram Haridwar, Gigi oversees the operations of its 4,000 plus worldwide centers. She uses scientifically proven techniques to implement initiatives like Yug Nirman and Vichar Kranti Abhiyan for moral, spiritual regeneration. Providing extraordinary service to humanity, Gigi has done phenomenal work in the areas of women's empowerment, psychosocial engineering, disaster relief, thought transformation, environment protection, and reviving India's spiritual heritage. Hundreds of followers visit her every day seeking her blessings. Hamiya Darshan has the power to alleviate suffering and her discourses have transformed millions of lives around the world. In recognition of her outstanding contribution to women's empowerment and spirituality, we are honored to present the Priyadarshni Academy Pralad P. Chabria Memorial Global Award to Shraddhaya Shailbala Pandya. Mr. Rahul Navikar, uh... Your video is off, so I can't see you. May I request you to please do us the honor and present this award to Gigi Shailbala Pandya. So if you could turn your video on, please. Um, OK. Um, May may I may I request uh, may I request Gadkari ji to do us the honor and present this award, sir? Oh, okay, Mr. Narekar is back. Okay, now jointly may I request both of you to present this award to Shraddhaya Shail Balya Pandya, please. Can 
second, please, for the award presentation. Okay. All right, um, Gigi, it's truly a pleasure and a blessing to have you with us this evening. May I request you to share your thoughts with, with us, please? Hamare Atme or Samani Gatkariji or Opposit Sare Hamare Ham. जूरी के सदस्य तो क्या कहे लेकिन हम इन्हें अपने परिजन कहेंगे हमारे आत्मीय भाई और बहन कहेंगे आज का दिन हमारे लिए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है इसलिए भी कि हमारे मिशन के संस्थापक परम पूज्य गुरुदेव और वंदनीय माताजी ने इस मिशन की स्थापना के साथ-साथ हमारी माताजी जो मिशन की संस्थापिका भी थी उन्होंने उनका आज पुण्यतिथि भी है और दूसरे शब्दों में उनका जन्मदिन भी है हमारे लिए आज का दिन बहुत महत्वपूर्ण हो जाता है आज हम अपने आप को बहुत गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रहे हैं खास तौर से उन लोगों की तरफ से जो मिशन के 15 करोड़ लोग इस राष्ट्र में और विदेशों में फैले हुए 5000 से ज्यादा वो प्रज्ञा संस्थान अपने आप को गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रहे हैं हमारे गुरुदेव माता जी के बताए सपनों को साकार करने के लिए उन परिजनों ने जिन्होंने रात और दिन एक किया खास तौर से नारी को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए चाहे वो साक्षरता हो चाहे स्वास्थ्य संबंधी हो चाहे स्वावलंबन हो चाहे कुरुति उन्मूलन हो और चाहे दहेज के प्रति उठाने वाली एक दबंग आवाज हो उसका आंदोलन ही नहीं दिया उसको आगे भी बढ़ाया यही नहीं नई पीढ़ी को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए गढ़े संस्कारवान पीढ़ी और भारतीय संस्कृति ज्ञान परीक्षा जैसी रूप रेखाएं इस मिशन ने चलाई वो हम उनके तरफ से हम आभारी हैं जिन्होंने मिशन की प्रतिष्ठा को और समाज के लिए गति देने के लिए रात और दिन एक किया न दिन देखा न रात देखी आज राष्ट्र पर जब भी आपदा आई चाहे वो प्राकृतिक आपदा हो चाहे वैसी आपदा हो मिशन भले ही मुट्ठीवर फंड पर चला हो उन्होंने अपने पेट की रोटी काटकर समाज के लिए राष्ट्र के लिए जब-जब जरूरत पड़ी अपना सब कुछ दांव पर लगाकर राष्ट्र के नव निर्माण में लगा दिया उन सब की तरफ से हम अपने आप को गौरवान्वित महसूस कर रहे यह सम्मान उन सब का है और गुरुदेव माता जी के चरणों में समर्पित है धन्यवाद Gigi, aapka baut baut dhaniyawad. Thank you so much for being with us. Aap hum sabko aashirwad dijiye ki jo humare bhitar hum jyoti hai, upar wale ki wo hum guide karte rahe, aage badhate rahe sabko. Thank you so much for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next award winner. Internationally acclaimed business icon and president of the recently acquired Rio Corp, Mr. Dario Werdain, is one of the three stakeholders of Argentina's legendary Werdain Group. Comprising of a portfolio of companies across sectors, the group has an established reputation for developing sustainable businesses to positively impact people's lives. A true humanitarian, Mr. Werthein has served on the boards of various social, educational and environmental organizations, including Sedaka Foundation, Fordham University and Bida Silvestre. He also leads the School Plus program, which benefits 2 million students from over 10,000 schools. An aficionado of economy and inclusion, he has addressed topics ranging from insurance and education to green economy and biodiversity through conferences and publications. He co-authored the book, Yegar El Futuro, meaning Get to the Future, with Ambassador Carlos Margarinos, our very own 2004 Global Award winner. Suffice to say, this highly evolved, versatile corporate leader 
brings a track record of dedication, creativity and mindfulness to every aspect of his work. In recognition of his outstanding contribution to conscious economic growth, we are honored to present the Priyadarshini Academy Harish Mahindra Memorial Global Award to Mr. Dario Wardain. Mr. Nitin Gadkari Ji, may I request you once again to do us the honor and join us on our stage to present this award to Mr. Dario Wardain. Congratulations, Mr. Wadai. May I request you to say a few words on this special occasion? Uh, good morning to everybody from Argentina. Uh, dear guests of honors, members of the Piradarsni Academy, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege for me to join the 38th session of the Piradarsni Academy anniversary to humble receive the global award this institution has bestowed on me. I feel indeed honored and committed to the academic, academic goals, well reflected on its motto, service to humanity is the best work of life. No doubt, humanity can be served from different positions. I have had the opportunity to do it from the private sector, creating companies and developing businesses to promote development, job creation, exports, and prosperity. My family has always believed that progress cannot be achieved in isolation and that no person, institution or company can improve in a context of general deprivation. That's why we try to the extent of our possibilities to make meaningful contribution to the society where we work and live. I have to give a special recognition to my wife that supports me on this work and to my kids, children who they, I can see the world through their own young eyes. The work and mission of the Priyadarshmi Academy is truly admirable and I find myself very attached to its goals. The global award I am receiving today is a testament to the beliefs and ecumenism of the Priyadarshmi Academy, which has sought me out to the other side of the world to confer me this prestigious award I sincerely treasure. I must confess that I am particularly touched by the fact that the Piradashmi was born and based in India, a country that I deeply admire for its cultural tradition, economic dynamism and democratic developments. It is impressive to see how the people of India overcame many obstacles to build a nation the size of a continent during the last 75 years. We in Latin America always look with interest and respect at the many developments and achievements that India has contributed to the global society. India and Latin America have many complementarities and common challenges and will benefit enormously for the closer work together. I would like to take the opportunity provided by this gathering to seed this idea deeply in your minds and hearts and to offer my effort to transform this hope into a brilliant reality. Commerce between the two regions has ballooned from 2 billion in 2000 to a range a bit over 40 billion today. Latin America and the Caribbean now export more to India than to Japan and Korea. However, the numbers pale in comparison to the potential. In the last decade, although trade has grown 20-fold and bilateral investment is on the rise, our commerce is indeed still the business of just a handful of products. A conservative measure of complementary products put the frontier of export expansion in each other's market at 68 billion and 262 billion for Latin America and the Caribbean and India respectively. We should ask ourselves what can be done to realize this potential. For sure, our government have a long range 
of policy measures to get both regions together from increasing the coverage of trade and investment agreements, undertaking proactive and targeted trade promotion activities and enhancing the trade facilitation measure to boosting investment in infrastructure and promoting reforms in the logistic sector. Where, while these would be key pillars of a successful strategy, we should not be mistaken. Bringing businesses of two distant regions together is not an easy task. In that regard, an effective institutional frame, framework, as well as businesses and, more important, people-to-people -people networks are of paramount importance. Education is core to this ta task. Its importance cannot be overstated. I have worked tirelessly in this field in the last 10 years all over the world, and I'm doing it now at the regional level through a program called School Plus to provide connectivity through our satellite system to every remote corner of LATAM and their educational institutions. I have always believed that education is key for the progress of society. Brio, the company I led, is a truly Latin American regional company serving 45 million customers with present in 15 markets and employing more than 15,000 people directly and indirectly. We will be happy to partner with Priyadarshni Academy, business chambers and other private sector institutions in India to build the bi-regional networks needed to get our society closer and together. We should partner to foster bilateral relations with Latin America, promoting regional trade, increasing technological cooperation, boosting private investment and disseminating opportunities in education and health. Such endeavor will be demanding. The effort requires to succeed, however, are worth it as they represent the opportunity to unlock massive trading potential and a plethora of investment opportunities that in turn will serve the betterment of the living of our people. We live in exponential times. While a combination of technologies, digitalization, big data, biotech, artificial intelligence, promise a new era for mankind, the return of pandemic and turf wars shake us to the ground. Can we be agents of change? Which are the key to the future? Addressing these questions adequately would be a demanding task. The common ground, without a doubt, would lie in promoting a better understanding and cooperation of the global society, a mission to which we are all called and that it would be impossible to, to overestimate. For this reason, once again, thank you for convening us here today to participate in this common task. Thank you for recognizing my humble effort and those of my team to contribute to these goals. Congratulations to all fellow recipients of an award. I remain committed to work together and delivering valuable service to humanity. No doubt, the best work of life. Thank you so much, Mr. Wadain. May you continue to impact many more lives across the world with your wonderful work. Thank you so much for being with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more award to go, but I am going to switch the schedule around a little bit because our chief guest has another commitment and has to leave. Uh, but we cannot let him go without hearing from him first. I'd like to take a minute to introduce our chief guest for today. A revolutionary thinker and resilient visionary, Mr. Nitin Gadkari is one of the best performing ministers India has ever had. His personal involvement and in-depth analysis of projects put him a cut above the rest and his extensive knowledge makes him unbeatable in any debate. India has built a robust network of state-of-the-art highways and has several world records to its credit thanks to this trailblazer who is also fondly called Nitin Rodkari. 55 flyovers in Mumbai, the Bandra Valley Sea Link, the Mumbai Pune and Delhi Mumbai Expressways, the Char Dham Road Project, the Bharat Mala Pariyojana connecting economic corridors, all this and much more has only been possible because of the far-sighted vision of this pioneering leader. 
a strong proponent of domestic manufacturing of electric vehicles and of generating wealth from waste, he advocates the production of biofuels and the development of car scrapping and recycling centers across the country. Most popularly known as the Infrastructure Man of India, his exceptional contribution to the nation will serve as an inspiration for generations to come. We at Priyadarshni Academy are truly blessed to have his unflinching support and invaluable guidance since many years and are extremely honored to have him with us once again this evening. गडकरी जी आप इस देश को हम सब को प्रगति के हाईवे पे लेके चल रहे हैं साथ साथ इंडिया इज ब्लेस्ड टू हैव अ लीडर लाइक यू सर मे आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू से अ फ्यू वर्ड्स प्लीज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर्मर यूनियन मिनिस्टर एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड श्री सुरेश प्रभु जी ऑनरेबल स्पीकर लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली ऑफ महाराष्ट्र श्री राहुल नार्वेकर जी माय डियर फ्रेंड and founder priyadarshini academy sri nanik rupani ji my dear friend chairman priyadarshini academy dr niranjan hiranandani ji respectable dr marshal kar ji chairman global award advisory committee distinguished award winners eminent guests dear friends ladies and gentlemen first of all i am giving my all best wishes to all award winner for their great contribution for the socio economic transformation in the society and nation building first of all i am giving also my thanks to my dear friend nanik rupani ji i always call him as a cultural ambassador of india the nanik has got lot of good international contact and i am as a individual experience about his relationship with the people in abroad particularly he has maintained the good relationship with a lot of people who are of indian origin nanik ji is also very much committed for education health services and cultural activities and from last 38 years this anniversary global award function is going on and i am also one of the winner when nanik ji has given me the award from priyadarshini academy i got a porch to construct 55 flowers in mumbai verli bandra ceiling project and at the same time the 55 uh, the verli bandra ceiling project mumbai pune express highway and that is one of the reason that he recognize and respect me for my work nanik ji is a very good friend to me and one of the important thing which always admit with him that he is committed for his cultural values educational values and giving social service in health sector for the society he is one of the dynamic person who has given his many ma majority of his time for the development of the society and that is one of the reason that i am associated with him from last 25 years i always recognize and respect him his efforts for making this country economically strong encouraging the people of industry encouraging the people from the culture sports films everywhere he want to support the people who are outstanding performers in the field he is not only giving a recognition to indian people but from last many years he always giving recognition and respect to the international people also i i, I remember when the priyadarshini academy declared award to uh, uh, the, the chairman of the president of indonesia after that uh, sukarno putri i am not remembering the name of the thing but actually it was nanik who take the initiative and giving award to that very very respectable lady international lady of india from indonesia so these are the thing where he want to create always support to the people who are creating social activities i know the friend mr niranjan hiranandani from many years he supporting nanik for all in this all this is mission dr marshal kar ji probably when i received the award at that time also the jury committee chairman probably dr marshal kar was there at that time dr marshal kar is one of the great personality in the in the country in the world where we all inspired and motivated by him 
he is a thinker he is a research scholar and he is a person who understands science and technology we have always remember and always taking guidance from him his independent impartial and fair character is really well recognized in the country and that is the reason the by which the, as a jury he select the person exactly they are on the basis of the merit i am really happy with the priyadarshini academy today the new generation is coming nanik is serving the society and the country from many years and now the new young generation is already there the 38th anniversary of this award is really really remarkable i really have a great pride for foundation of this priyadarshini academy i remember at the starting time when he start this academy there was the actually priyadarshini name was given because it is also one of the name of our late prime minister indira gandhi and at that time that priyadarshini award it was declared at that time nanik is really very much dedicated for the society and the country he is always doing his social work helping to the people and helping the talent of the society now this is the important thing for our country and the society that we should respect good people we should support the talent we should recognize the good social service we should award the people who are contributing for nation building in their field and also we should give the support to young talented and particularly the artist who are representing our culture exactly to giving support and giving recognition and respect to them is the most important inspiration and motivation for them from last many days nanik is doing constantly this mission from the actually by the organization of our priyadarshini academy and the people like dr mashelkar niranjan hiranandani ji they are all associated with him i am really happy i am not coming here as a chief guest but i am as a part of his a good friend of nanik rupani and his mission i know from last 25 years the way in which selflessly he is supporting society he is supporting the people without any expectation and that is the reason that i always recognize him i have always remember one sanskrit geet and that is really very fit for nanik rupani manasa satatam smaraniyam vachasa satatam vadaniyam lok hitam mam karaniyam mai the meaning of this song is i always try to support the people good people in the society and that is my social uh, consciousness social responsibility always indicate me to support the people who are doing positive and good thing for the society and for the nation building here are the people who contribute their life for socio economic transformation some of the people are religious people some of the people are from industry some of the people from the culture some of the people are from, are from the different part of the society but ultimately they everyone is contributing for the society for the nation and this type of the models the role models are inspiration and motivation for the future generation already we always challenge the people that thora mahatme hun gele charitra tanche paha zara apan tancha saman vave hat asa pade bodh kara what were the good people who are in the society this is the time for the young talented new generation that we should understand their skill their knowledge their managerial skill their vision and the way in which they got get the success in their life on the basis of that we also try for that and that is exactly the inspiration and motivation which the our priyadarshini academy is giving to the young talented people of our country it's really a great pride and pleasure for all of us i am really happy today i want to again next program is there i want to go there that the reason i am taking the uh, i request uh, on a organizer to give me the opportunity to express my words i am again thankful to nanik ji niranjan ji and marshal kar ji and uh, priyadarshan academy for always calling me only one thing which i will request nanik ji and niranjan ji that don't call me don't uh, uh, just every time call me as a guest of honor call me as a part of member of priyadarshan academy where i am always associated with you it will be more pride and it will be give more satisfaction and relief to my household 
that i am your part and parcel of your activity one of your strong supporter for this all activities so next time yeah. you don't call me as a guest of honor but call me as you were you are part of your academy part of the member of your academy and i it will always pleasure for me once again god bless you all of you i am giving my best wishes to all of you i really recognize the work of all of you and god will give you more strength to work for the society and work for the nation thank you very much namaskar thank you gadkari ji it is only because of you your blessing to this academy we have reached uh, the uh, today's height i think your blessing to the academy please keep your love and affection always for us we have no words to thank you believe me thank you gadkari ji thank you so much it is truly a privilege thank you for your unwavering support to priyadarshini academy so i have a humble request if you can spare two more minutes we have one award left sir we would like you to present that before you go thank you so much ladies and gentlemen as has been our tradition for the last 35 years our final award for this evening is an award which was instituted in the memory of one of india's finest stage and film actors late smita patil whose father late shivaji rao patil was very closely associated with priyadarshini academy allow me to introduce our award winner for today versatile actor phenomenal dancer soulful singer youth icon fashion diva smart producer alia bhat is rightfully hailed as this generation's biggest star from her iconic debut in student of the year in 2012 to her power pack performance in an as gangubai in 2022 alia has made every character she has played come alive in her own unique seemingly effortless style she may be only a decade old as a mainstream bollywood actor but has enthralled audiences worldwide with one stellar act after another be it a kidnapping victim in highway an undercover spy in razi or the volatile girlfriend of an aspiring rapper in gully boy all her performances reflect an astounding maturity far beyond her young age of 29 a winner of four film fair awards she has featured in forbes asia's 30 under 30 list and set a benchmark that her peers can only dream of achieving with her latest release brahmastra she has achieved the biggest hat trick of box office blockbusters in 2022 the future is bright the future is now the future is alia in recognition of her outstanding contribution to indian cinema we are delighted to present the priyadarshini academy smita patel memorial award for best actor to miss alia bhat Gadkari ji may i request you to do us this honor and present this very special award to miss alia bhat Hartius congratulations Alia you look lovely as ever uh, the audience is eagerly waiting to hear from you may i request you to say a few words no thank you so much jina ji for that uh, extremely extremely kind introduction um it's such an honor to be uh, on this platform um receiving an award from uh, gadkari ji himself sir thank you so much for giving me this honor um honestly for me film making movies cinema is um, has been a part of my world ever since i opened my eyes it's a joke main apni mummy ko hamesha bolti hu ki main action pe hi paida hui hu 
because uh, I believe that's just my destiny and my connect with the movies. So to be honored, especially with the Smita Patel Memorial Award, uh, it's such it's such a huge privilege. And to be on this platform, so thank you to the Priyadarshan Academy, thank you Gadkari ji, thank you Nanik ji, thank you Reena ji, thank you to everyone present um, to give me this award. Every award is never taken for granted, and I will always remember the kindness and the and this honor that you have given me. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alia. We wish you all the very best for your upcoming films and on your personal journey of motherhood. May you continue to entertain people around the world with many more wonderful performances. Thank you so much for being with us. Hatties, congratulations to all our award winners. We hope to see you sometime in person in Mumbai in the near future. Otherwise, we will have the trophies and the certificates sent to you. Um, late, I, I hope I did some justice to the 90 second introductions. Uh, I know you're waiting to hear from our other guests. So let me begin again with introducing our guest of honor for this evening. Vidhan Bhavan, Mantralai, Bombay High Court, Mumbai University, Headquarters of RBI, the Police, Central and Western Railways, the Bombay Stock Exchange, the Western Naval Command. What do all these iconic establishments have in common? They are all jewels of South Mumbai and they all fall under the proactive sitting MLA from the Kolaba constituency, Mr. Rahul Narvekar. Easily accessible to his constituents and deeply committed to the development of Mumbai, Maharashtra and India, this young, dynamic, cultured, well-educated politician has recently been elected as the Speaker of Maharashtra's Legislative Assembly. He is the youngest ever Speaker, not only in the state of Maharashtra, but also the entire country. Mr. Narvekar has fostered a culture of youthful transparency in his administration. An advocate by profession, he has worked closely with several social, educational and cooperative bodies. Born and brought up in South Mumbai, this soft-spoken but sharp legal eagle is one who truly walks his talk. Mr. Narvekar, it's one having you with us today. May I request you to say a few words on the special occasion? Priyadarshini Academy's 38th anniversary global awards function being attended by Honorable Union Minister Nitin Gadkariji, Honorable Suresh Prabhuji, Honorable Dr. Mashilkar, Honorable Dr. Niranjan Hiradandani, a very dear and near friend as well as a guiding star, Sri Nani Krupani ji, uh, Mrs. Reena Krupani, distinguished guests. At the outset, I would like to begin by congratulating the awardees for this evening, whose exemplary work in various fields of life have earned them this award. So at the outset, I would like to begin by congratulating you all. An award function is not just a function to celebrate one evening, but it is a function which recognizes the work, the commitment and the achievements of an individual over several years. And therefore, I think an award function like this symbolizes recognition of their achievement and the efforts taken by them. Such award functions, especially this award function of Priyadarshini Academy is not only important, but it's the necessity of the hour. As we all know, India being the youngest nation in the world, with an average age of 27, the world looks forward to a lot from India. While India marches forward to become the economic superpower, we definitely need these guiding stars 
to guide the future youth of this country the future generation of this country and therefore the people who have been awarded the people who have been recognized by priyadarshini academy stand as a role model stand as an example in the society and the youth look forward looks forward to such examples in society and therefore such functions are very very important and necessary for the development of the country for guiding the youth in the country and i must congratulate the priyadarshini academy mr nani krupani mr hiranandani mr mashilkar and their entire team for time and again performing their duty their responsibility of recognizing the true talent in our society the contributors to our society and this particular stand of theirs this function which they have been performing for the last 38 years certainly makes them eligible for a huge award from the society at large so let me begin by giving you awarding you this award orally on your dais itself and uh, though i may be attending this function as a guest of honor for the first time it's my maiden appearance but let me tell you this function is not new to me along with uh, mr suresh prabhu who is a dear friend and who has been a, a mentor uh, i have attended several functions of uh, the priyadarshini academy at the trident uh, at narvan point which happens to be in my constituency now uh, so this function is definitely not new to me i have attended several times and truly speaking i must say that this award function the priyadarshini academy's efforts have played a pivotal role in developing my personality as a public representative i have drawn inspiration from this very platform to perhaps achieve whatever i have till today and therefore i must not only congratulate priyadarshini academy i must also thank them for what they have contributed in my becoming so having said that uh, i would uh, once again congratulate all the awardees for uh, today's function i would uh, like to assure them that uh, the maharashtra legislature will always be supportive of such stands and uh, such initiatives and as the speaker of the legislative assembly i sh shall always stand behind strongly behind uh, this uh, priyadarshini academy in all their future endeavorances for society building for nation building and for inspiring the society at large i once again thank one and all of you all for having me here this uh, evening and giving me an opportunity to express my solidarity to express my wholehearted support in favor of priyadarshini academy once again congratulating all the award winners today this uh, function recognizes talent from almost every section of the society may it be from the film industry may it be from manufacturing may it be from social service every aspect of life is touched by this award function by this uh, 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 entire uh, effort which has been initiated by the priyadarshini academy and i am sure that next time around there will be someone from public life someone from the political arena who will once again be an awardee in this function as well whom we can all applaud in uh, the future thank you once again and we shall all a very pleasant and good evening rina i think suresh prabhu is also there ha huh? just say yes. okay. thank you uh, thank you thank you so much for being with us this evening mr narvekar and thank you we are humbled by the acknowledgement that you have extended to us we know that south mumbai is in very good hands with you at the helm thank you so much Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to our next speaker for this evening. It is my privilege to introduce a statesman who has achieved the rare feat of earning respect not just from his peers but also his political opponents and international counterparts. A qualified chartered accountant, a great reformer, founding chancellor of Rishihud University. Six-time MP and former Union Minister of ten portfolios, Mr. Suresh Prabhu is a politician with unflinching morality. We could spend all day talking about his achievements, 
and we would be unable to do justice to his exceptional contribution in building India. He has featured in the list of top ministers several times, not just for his stellar work, but also his accessibility to ordinary citizens. Apart from working tirelessly as a parliamentarian, he is actively associated with multiple organizations working towards the betterment of society. He has been instrumental in Priyadarshini Academy's growth and broadening its reach to countries around the world and we are forever indebted to him for his unconditional support. Mr. Prabhu, it's an honor to have you with us. For, uh, your video is off. I am unable to see you. Um, Mr. Prabhu, um, may I request you to turn on your video connection? Um, Mr. Hiranandani, would you like to say something while we try? And I think we've dropped the call with Suresh, Mr. Suresh Prabhu. Uh, if you would like to say a few words, we'll try and reconnect with him. Yes, of course I would. Uh, I think uh, uh, we have really, really... Mr. Hiranandani, I think you have accidentally muted yourself. Yes. yes. And please unmute. Yes. yes. Uh, Priya, Priya Darshini Academy is tremendously grateful for all the fond words that have been spoken today. Uh, whether it is from Mr. Gatkari, Mr. Uh, 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 Narvekar Sahib, or all the other people who have been here participating today, we are extremely grateful. This definitely induces Priyadashini Academy to take this work which it has been doing on the social side to the next level. We are especially heartened by the international connectivity and people with warm hearts and big social work that they have been doing to be able to recognize. We will, of course, work towards getting all these participants to India and we look forward to their connectivity and connection guidance and their leadership in the entire world. Our beloved Prime Minister has always wanting to be able to get India to connect with the rest of the world in terms of it and share the prosperity to the, each and every one of us. At the top of the pyramid, whether it is the GDP growth to work towards the $5 trillion economy or to bring about social justice in the country, whether to women, to the downtrodden, or to each and every one of us. So I think the participation of different sectors, which we have been able to get here together, is certainly a significant achievement, both for Priyadashini Academy, for the leadership that our country and politicians have shown, the wisdom direction in which they have taken. But a special mention for our international awardees. We pray and plea with the entire world to bring about peace in the entire earth. This is extremely important for us. Hence, the wars that are now taking place in the world and the amount of money being spent on armories and disputes and this, if it could have been put to the prosperity of our countries and the livelihood, I think not a single person in this world, entire world would go with uh, hungry with food or with uh, disparity of incomes. I think all this and more is what we need to achieve in terms of social equality that we want to bring about. Hence, with whatever industrial leadership that we have shown, the righteousness to social activity is, I think, very, very important to our leadership, our prime minister, Priyadarshini Academy at the social level to bring about this kind of equality to the peace of the nation, India, and of course the entire universe. And we request each and every awardee to work in this direction, 
we will be happy to have interchanges both politically and otherwise in order to bring about this leadership is mr suresh prabhu there no i think he's not will yeah. i think you can ask my mahesh takkar for the so thank you very much and uh, over to you uh, reena yeah thank you You're on mute. Oh. Nanik ji, your voice is not coming. No, I think I'm really grateful to all of you, and especially to our chief guest, to our uh, you know guest of honor, and all my heartiest congratulations to all our award winners. We'll be too happy to work with each and every one uh, uh, whenever they are in India or whenever they are in Bombay. It will be our pleasure to interact with them, and we want to. take the priyadarshni academy to the next level i think accepting accepting our award you have done a great honor to us so i can request mahesh takkar for the vote of thanks thank you thank you reena with your permission i will propose the hearty vote of thanks yes, good evening please. friends good evening good afternoon and good morning to different people from different parts of the world wow what an event global grand and glorious indeed fresh it was physical like before hopefully next year onwards since our chairman is now committed we can try the physical event next year onwards and we will do all our efforts to make it grander all the times i have a pleasant duty here to propose a hearty vote of thanks to all those who have been part of this most celebrated event first and foremost our distinguished guests chief guest shri nitin gadkari guests of our shri piyush goyal who could not join due to a preoccupancy out of india shri suresh prabhu and shri rahul narvekar thanks to all of our honorable guests for sparing the valuable time and be with us as always our worthy reputed global awardees you know the stars of this event her excellency patricia espinosa cantalino dr sanjeev goenka mr kavaljit jawa mr mohammad aziz khan shraddhe shail shail bala pandya mr dario vardhan and ms alia bhat all the best for the good health for the good news that goshi is going to share with us very soon friends nothing moves without money to our spon thanks to our sponsors and well wishers the hiranandani group deepak chabri of finalex cables uballa bansali of anam holdings nadir godrej of godrej industries mahendra sanghi from vitess neeraj bajaj from bajaj group rahul karad from mit and the indian express group people at the helm of affairs at priyadarshini academy Dr R M Ashelkar chairman of our global Ad Ad awards advisory committee and the one who carried the whole function on our able shoulders with total neatness and accuracy keeping the interest and excitement alive throughout ms reena rupani our master of ceremony thanks reena people backstage i mean at office mr hushen gotla sangeeta wadwani sonu rupani jash popat viraj and his team at biap dr himlata bagla and our loyal team at priyadarshini academy who have been working throughout you know for many many years saurabh vaishali samir chandrakant and anil thanks to the press and media for carrying the extensive coverage of this event pre and post both we hope thanks to you all for joining online from different parts of the world at this odd hour and be with us hope and pray to be back with a big bang next year onwards namaste shubhratri and do take very good care of yourself thank you thank you very much Thank you so much, Mr. Thakkar. Thank you for all to all the awardees. Thank you for staying with us till the very end. It was wonderful meeting you, and we hope to see you in person sometime soon. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Nanak Ji. Cultural Ambassador of India, as Na Gadkari Ji put it.